Hello everyone, Holotide here, and today I want to take a quick view of the Halo Infinite multiplayer reveal trailer, not the super long 12-minute in-depth version uh, with the interviews and whatnot. This is just the multiplayer premiere trailer thing, so it's only two minutes, but I'm going to stop uh, throughout it and point things out that intrigue me, make me excited, things that might worry me, and all that cool stuff, so let's uh, let's do it. This is, uh, this is the Xbox logo. All right, so this is the Academy stuff. I'm actually really intrigued by this. It reminds me of, like, the training mode from Call of Duty um, or something, you know, where you can just go in and fight bots and stuff like that to learn the game. I think this is really smart because Halo is a very niche game at this point. Um, Halo players have terminology and all types of things that are you know, only known to Halo players at this point. So I think that's very cool. Um, they did say that it would help you learn like Halo terminology, Halo movement abilities, you know, all that stuff, equipments. I, I think that's really smart for them to make this game as accessible as possible because there aren't a lot of games with like real tutorials like that that are opt in, I think. And I think a lot of people will utilize this, myself included. Oops. <laughs> There's the brute, you know, you see uh, the wasp fly off with him. There's a ghost right there. Um, the rocket hog, you know, he's chilling, Max, and relaxing and stuff. Uh, I've seen a lot of people say that this is a Valhalla remake. I don't think it is at all. I think uh, they show more of the map. I actually, I really like the aesthetic of the map, but they show more of the map, and it's just not that. It, it's not a remake. I think it's a brand new map. That's a Spartan commander, Loretta. She's pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I like her. Um, and right here you can see feedback of where this Spartan was hit. Um, that's something that you'll see throughout the video, um, where your bullets are landing, that part of the armor will give feedback. Now, the only thing I don't like is the giant blob. Um, I, I don't like that. And when you die, there's like a big blob thing, so, not gonna lie, not a huge fan of that. Um, you don't see it right there, though. Right there, um, let's see if I can get it just right. This little outline that you see, there's another one right here. Um, that is the friend or foe um, outline to, to let you know who an enemy is instead of having players just be red versus blue. I know there are people upset about that. I'm not going to lie. I think it's a good change. I think that... Your Spartan should be your Spartan. You never get to see what it actually looks like unless you play free-for-all pretty much. So I enjoy that and also makes the cosmetics mean more to me. You can see the weapon rack stuff. I hope that there are weapons on the ground that you can pick up. I'm pretty sure we only see him pick up uh, weapons from a wall and off of dead bodies. So that makes me scared. This is like a pulse thing. It basically, EM or not EMPs, but it's like a... Not a UAV, but it just gives you feedback. It gives you a wall hack. I hate every wall hack in video games. I think it's whack. But um, as long as it's not overpowered and like the timer and stuff, then I guess that's fine. One person can use it. That's okay. This is the coolest thing in the entire video. I'm pretty sure it's Unishek. Like that's literally all I want to do. This is a cool like Promethean looking uh, looking weapon, and it shows like alt fire mode. So like there it was flat, and then there it was vertical. Um, so that's pretty cool. Look at this cool guy. Um, so Promethean weapons are confirmed, I guess. So two things. I feel like the gravity hammer is super toned down in this game. It does not feel the same. And uh, right here, you're going to see the Repulsor equipment. I assume it's equipment. But this guy's going to try to noob combo uh, the Hammer Boy. And he's going to shoot it back at him and then reverse noob combo him. So so that's pretty cool. There's the big blob thing. I really dislike that. It's good for player feedback, I guess. Um, you know, slowing the stuff down and looking at it is fantastic. You know, grapple... This man is grappling into a sticky. It's pretty cool. This is the new AI that's in the uh, multiplayer um, that you'll be able to customize and pick and stuff like that. I think that's cool. Oh, let's 
It's just another another customization. This map, mwah, that this looks like Halo. This the mm, I am happy. You can see him grapple the uh, skewer, I believe is what it's called. Look at that cool guy, and uh, you get to see another banished ghost and stuff. I do think that later on they will add like old Covenant style vehicles into the game. Um, but the skewer, baby, God. I love that, and then he grapple jacks. Like all of my grapple jacks. Very cool. This is gorgeous. I love this, the, the lighting, there's, that beach map is so different in terms of aesthetic to this map. Uh, I love that. It's like a smoky forest. More uh, vehicles and whatnot. Um, this is kind of cool. If you look at the the ghost, it's missing one of its wing things, and it's tipping. And I don't know if that's just how he's driving it. Um, but it looks like we've seen the warthog missing a wheel and stuff. So I assume that the damage on vehicles will cause them to handle differently. And also back here, you can see one of those ordinance drops um, with ammo, weapons, and stuff that'll be coming throughout the map in the bigger team battle mode. There's a lot of vehicle stuff. This is one of the pelican drops. Um, obviously, this is a banshee. And that looks sexy. I That's the glint from the sniper to let you know that people are looking at you with a sniper rifle. So that's back, which is probably a good thing. Pulse carbine, very cool. Getting, It would be cool if that's like how it looks when you get in. But I'm pretty sure it will. The flag is ours. Cool. Uh, they brought back the CE red team logo, the Cobra. That's cool. There's the BR. It looks great. Love it. You run. You run with the flag. I don't care as long as the Magnum is gone. Uh, I think that the f the Flagnum was a bad gameplay design thing. This is so cool, man. I'm so excited to play this game. But the thing is, is you want to know a really, you know, not makes me excited, just makes me want more, is a Halo Battle Royale. I, I watch this, and all I can think about is how much fun it would be to, to do this in a, in a giant Battle Royale, in a squad with the boys, you know what I'm saying. And then uh, we get the cool Hamlet Master Chief. Uh, I've seen a lot of people say this is a spray. I don't think it's a spray. I think it's just part of the map thing, you know, he's kind of immortalized, um, I don't know if these are, like, simulated maps, or, you know, if this is a real place, you know, in the, in the universe, um, and we're just fighting on it, and, uh, you know, this was, like, something done by a civilian, you know, that knows Master Chief, but Oddball looks great. I really feel like... 343 is getting into that Bungie-esque Halo small details aspect. Uh, Bungie was notorious for putting these small things into the game. And um, I really feel like 343 is starting to grasp that. Also, this guy gets destroyed. Absolutely mollywopped. I like that there's destructible stuff on the environment. Uh, the drop shield... You know, cool grappling that stuff. This dude! Also, look how big pulse nades are. Jeez. He's got the sidekick with the attachment. I assume that's just how it's going to look. And my man gets a combat evolved metal and looks gorgeous. Like, man. Fantastic. So that's pretty much it. I'm excited. I like that there's two separate, like, this will be the multiplayer, um, I guess, cover art thing that you'll see on, like, um, stores and things like that, and then this is the single player stuff. That's pretty much it. Uh, pretty cool, not gonna lie. I cannot wait to play this game. I'm super excited. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel. This was a quick and dirty, you know, reaction video. Um, let me know your favorite things that you saw, things that are concerning to you. Uh, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, leave a like on the video, all that cool YouTube stuff, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out.